Uganda's fashion industry provides employment opportunities especially for women. As we commemorate Women's Day, themed Choose to Challenge, we meet Modo. This fashion house has defied the odds. Through their entrepreneurship program, Modo is creating opportunities for young women in Gulu to earn a living. Hi, my name is Susan Namirimo and I'm the co-founder at Modo. We are located above Sinabel in Gulu. Um, we believe that, that women should have the opportunity to design their own future. And at Modo, we work to create economic opportunities for women. And we are doing that through our school that offers the one-year fashion entrepreneurship program. And then also through our factory that employs female youth. People are driven by different things, from passion to gratification they derive from their craft. Susan tells us a little bit about that. For a business like ours, it's uh, meant to create jobs for female youth, and for us that is our corporate responsibility to our society, to create jobs and encourage people to shop more locally, because then that helps the young women that we work with to generate an income. Ugandan businesses fail before their first birthday and Modo knows too well the struggles of sustaining a business. For most cases it's really, I would say lack of capital is one of them, but then also lack of mentorship. A lot of times people go out to set up a business and they're not really well informed about the market and they don't really have that other guiding hand to help them work out the challenges of starting a business. So a lot of them would have actually succeeded if they had someone to keep on advising them and giving them a bit of um, check-in to make sure they survive and to make sure they keep moving even when they are facing challenges. I think when I first started, the biggest challenge I had was having enough capital. I didn't have enough capital. And even though I had a really good market, it became really challenging to meet the demand that was readily available in Gulu at the time. I had to really bootstrap for a really long time and it was I lost a lot of clients because I didn't have the resources, I didn't have the capital, I also didn't have the human labor that was well skilled and well trained to work alongside me. I like my job. <laughs> I love working in fashion. Most importantly, I like working with other people and I like to think that there is a lot of meaning that comes from my work. Entrepreneurship goes hand in hand with decision making. Susan recently had a decision to make that some would say is bold. Uh, recently I decided to open a school and it uh, expanded the business. So um, a lot of people found that to be really bold because already I have a business that does tailoring and then now I have a school and it's definitely something that is hard to handle and I haven't really had the best education experience but I'm, I'm learning along the way and I'm doing a lot of research to make sure I get it right. Luck is a common word within Ugandan businesses, yet many long to scale up. Support would go a long way in expanding model. Uh, in terms of the school, I think we are still lacking in a bit of capital. We are trying to scale our factory to have more people work with us. And at the moment, we really don't have that much capacity to scale that. So any any support that would go into helping us expand our capacity in terms of machinery would be really welcome. There has been a lot of talk on the mismatch between graduates churned out of learning institutions and their practical skills. Fortunately, the new curriculum for lower secondary envisions a graduate with employable skills. Susan emphasizes the importance of incorporating practical skills in the school's curriculum. Uh, so for me, what I've found really challenging about the education that I've seen and I've experienced is the fact that it's theoretical. 
and when it's coming to my work I think it's very important for the work to be really practical so as much as the theory is important I think really reinforcing the need for practicals and incorporating that practicality in the education that is being delivered is something that I find very important. <laughs>